My father is a retired detective. I'm stating I can perform the test. No, please, please, please. I can't do this, please. <laughs> It's not uncommon for people to show up drunk in various places, but turning up drunk on your first day of teaching at school is a serious offense. Despite this, Kimberly Coates, the third grade elementary teacher in question, doesn't seem to think it's a big deal. So, um, just observing you in the classroom, it looks like something's off a little bit. And so I've asked uh, Officer Dean to come in here and visit with him. Has you, you know, uh, have you taken anything that's... You know, do you have a prescription for anything that maybe you have taken today that just seems like you're not the same person that I talked to this morning? Um, I did take a, I, I did take some medication yeah, last night to, to help me with sleep because I have some anxiety stuff, but that's, that's, I can't think of the name of it right now, but I could look it up when I get home. So you haven't taken anything while you were at school? As her colleagues interrogate her, she appears unfazed by the situation. Kimberly responds to all the questions confidently, giving the impression of truthfulness to anyone watching. However, only time will reveal the real story. Would you uh, be willing to take a breathalyzer test? If I needed to, yeah. You don't have to, but if you're willing to do it, that helps us. Have you taken any sort of medication today? I'm sorry, what? Have you taken any medication today? I did take some medication this morning for my anxiety. What did you take this morning? Um, I think it's called... Um, um, was something? I'm not, I'm not very good with it. Did you take it here at school? I took it, the, yeah, I took it this morning. While you were here? Yeah, right before I came in, yes. The prescription because you changed your story a little bit. Now you said it was last night. Yeah. Well, I took one last night and then I took one this morning because my anxiety was really like that. Well, that's understandable. That's understandable. So, when, what time did you take it? This morning? Whenever you took it last. What time was that? Uh, I'm not really for sure. When faced with the possibility of taking a breath analyzer test, Kimberly's demeanor quickly shifts, suggesting there may be more to the situation than meets the eye. Her hesitant pauses and confused responses make it seem like she's inventing a story on the spot, but the officers aren't convinced. I'm in mean, I I am having a hard time with some depression stuff, and I, I, um, Did you drink something while you were here at school? Not while I was at school. When did you drink something? Last night. Not here at school because it seemed that it changed. I mean, your demeanor kind of changed. Anything here at school? Oh, oh I wouldn't bring it into the school. The truth has a way of coming out. Kimberly eventually confesses to drinking the night before. However, her demeanor suggests that the alcohol may still be affecting her, and only a breathalyzer test can uncover the whole truth. Are you gonna blow double zeros? I don't know. You should know. If you hadn't drank anything, you should blow zeros. If you drank something recently, it's gonna show it. Okay, so what's going to happen again? I'm not going to do anything. Her reluctance to take the test is a clear sign that she's hiding something. It's just a matter of time before her lies unravel. Take a big deep breath. You want to tell me the truth? How much you have to drink? I drank last night. There's no way you drank last night. Well, I did drink last night. I, I didn't drink this one. That wouldn't blow that right there. You blew two times the legal limit. I did? Yeah. The truth is out now. With her blood alcohol level more than twice the legal limit, it's almost laughable how Kimberly still denies the accusation.
drink recently. To be fair, the officer gives her one more chance with another test, but it's hardly shocking when she fails that too. I, I won't even let you get your vehicle out of arrest you right now for public and talks. Do then you should probably find a ride. Can I can I make that happen myself? Right now. Do I have to do it in, right here? Yes, we I, need to know somebody's going yeah. We're not leaving. He's not going to leave here until somebody picks you up. So either you leaving a vehicle or you leaving my vehicle, one of the two. Both the officer and her colleague try to help Kimberly, but they have little sympathy for her because her actions are unacceptable. Time is running out, and it's uncertain whether she'll be heading home or to the police station. Okay, no more games, right? Yeah. Other than that. Uh, uh, my juice. Can I try again? That layer is wine. I thought that was from yesterday. You uh, drank it up here yesterday? Uh, well, I bought it from home. A search for her phone uncovers damning evidence, an empty plastic cup emitting the smell of wine. All the pieces of the puzzle fit together, but her next move shatters any trust she's built. Please, please, please just let me, can we Hey, I'm this? not doing it. I'm not doing it. You had your chance to be honest. Well, and, I, I did. I, and then you wiped this out. Please let me, please let me call. I should charge you with tampering with evidence. Please let me, please no, let me call. No, no, it is over. No more, no more, I'm done. Officer, please. No. I, I've never done anything bad in my whole life. Kimberly tries to wipe the plastic cup clean, but that won't erase her wrongdoing. Her actions have pushed her past the point of redemption, and her apologies won't undo the damage. Wait, well, can I just talk to you for a second? Please. Please don't. Put your hands behind your back. No, I don't want to. Do you want to go to jail with no. multiple charges? No. Put your hands behind your back. Please don't do this. Please, I just want to talk to you. Can you just talk to me? Put please? your hands behind your back. Please, will you just please talk to me? I, we've I've tried talking to you. Well, you, you're not talking to me now. It, talking's over. Well, what about my stuff? I don't know what you need to do. I, officer, please. Quit. I'm done. I tried to be nice. I'm done. If she had been truthful from the beginning, she wouldn't be facing handcuffs now. But some lessons are learned the hard way. Kimberly was escorted to the police station and is now charged with public intoxication. In the very next position, we have Aretha Malloy, a middle school principal. She just wanted to get back into the car and drive after she crashed into our driveway. Okay. And she's giving us a hard time. Okay. And she says because she's a principal, she doesn't want us to call the cops. I call the cops. Okay. Not going to happen the way that you want it. I understand that. I understand that. How you guys doing? But you cannot go home like this. I just have to take Excuse care of that Excuse me. Come, come, come. Hi, how are you? Whoa, whoa. I just have to go to the bathroom. Where we go? Okay. Where we go? Okay. You're involved in Hold on, man. I didn't hit anything. Do me a favor and go back. What, what, what was the question? Thank you. What, what happened? I just have to go to the bathroom, sir. Okay, really but, but you're, not, you're not answering my questions for me. Yes, sir. What happened? I just have to go to the bathroom. No, that's not the question that I asked What's you. What question? The, my question that I'm asking you is, what happened? Nothing. I came over here. 
I took a picture. I Cops show up after a report of a car crash. As the woman explains the situation, the officer notices a white Lexus in the driveway, but something seems off. The car's airbags are deployed, and Aretha Malloy, the driver, dodges all the questions thrown at her by the officer, which seems suspicious. Okay, but again, I need you to continue telling me what happened with this accident. I just have to, there was no accident, sir. There was no Man. Look, look, look at your vehicle. I look at the vehicle. Look, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just have to go to the bathroom. Uh, you're not understanding me. I need yes. you to look where your vehicle is, right? Yes. I need you to see that all of your airbags have deployed. They have, right? sir. You do not have shoes on right now. I took them off in the car because I came out to speak to you, sir. One ass up. Accident occurred. I just stepped over to the side. I really have to go to the bathroom, sir. Please, that's all I'm asking. Go to the bathroom. And I'll be fine. I'm leaving West Orange. I'm five minutes away. I got you. I'm fine. I just have to go to the bathroom. Okay. But this accident. She appears to be in a hurry to leave the scene and struggles to articulate her words, leading the officer to suspect she might have something to hide. That's all I have to Ma do. Ma'am, let me, let me ask you a question. Here. Yes, sir. Okay. Have you, have you been drinking today? Earlier today, I was. Earlier today, you were. The principal admits to drinking earlier in the day. Now the question is whether the alcohol is still in her system or not. Okay, I, I understand that, but we're a little limited on options as you have a driver's license. Right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Are, you, are we going to run through tests? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm let, let's, 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 let's get moving. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, just stay right here for me, please. I really oh, have to go to the you bathroom. Need, you need to understand me, all right? Understand what I'm telling you. Please. Right? Okay? I'm asking you, do you mind going through a field sobriety test with me? I'm fine. I just really have you're to not, go to the bathroom. You're not answering the question. Sir, I'm going to urinate on myself, and I'm asking you. I have a bladder problem. Okay. My father is a retired sergeant All in New York. Look, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm, I'm going to urinate on myself, and I'm I, asking you. As, if, if we can get these tests done, the faster we can get these tests done, the yes, faster sir. you can use the bathroom. I can't. So you're not. I have to right. go to the bathroom. You have, two, you have two options at this point, okay? What's you option? either take this test, right? Yes. Or you get locked up. One field sobriety test is all it takes to uncover the truth, but Aretha is well aware of that, which is why she's attempting to stall the officers. However, the inevitable truth cannot be avoided for long. Are you refusing to conduct this test right now because of the, your me whatever medical conditions you're in? What I'm stating to you is that I have to use the bathroom. So let me ask you this, are you able to perform this test? I'm unable to perform okay. the test that you're asking me okay. to perform. So that's both both tests? That's both tests. Okay. Huh. But I can do what I need to do. Okay. Ma'am, just do me a favor, turn around. Put your arms behind your back. Okay. I can do it. No, sir. I can do it. Okay. It's you're, fine. You're not it's fine. Like this, okay? No, sir. So, I'm in a strange twist of events, she concocts a series of stories and refuses to cooperate with the field sobriety test, resulting in her arrest. The only bathroom she'll be using now is the one in the police station. I have a right to Sit ask down. for clarification. Sit down. I will kneel down, but I'm just Sit asking down. for clarification. Sit I've down. never been in this situation, Sit sir, down. and I just want to understand before I sign the you. paper, Sit Officer down. Louis. Sit down. I will sit down. Okay. No, no, no. So now, so now, so now we're in the process. Now we're in the process of. So I just want to understand no, no, my now rights. We're, right. I'm you keep talking to what I'm being. Now we're gonna. We're, we're in the process for. of the breath. The breath test. I need you to sit here. You cannot talk. You cannot speak. You cannot burp. You cannot cough for 20 minutes. You have to sit there, relax. Let your mind wander. You cannot sleep either. Just sit there for 20 minutes. After those 20 minutes are up. I'm gonna explain to you the breath test. You're gonna give me two good samples. After those two good samples, I'm gonna put you back in here. We're gonna, no, no, actually, we're gonna do the fingerprints. I'm gonna put you back in here. Fingerprints, put you back in here. A couple more paperwork, and you're and you're gone. You're leaving for the night. We're good. Okay. okay? So, so if I sign that. No, no, we're done. No, no, we're done. We're done. I, no, no more paperwork. I, I'm just. No, and I, I, and I'm letting you know. No more paperwork. No. We're done with the paperwork. I'm just <laughs> but I'm helping you out. There's no, no more paperwork. You're not helping there's no more me. paperwork. I'm and I don't have the right there's to no, ask. There's no more paperwork. What I'm we're good. Is, we're done. 
I am not someone that has been in trouble. But man, law uh, it doesn't matter. So I'm just. But man, I've had people. I've, I've had people that have, done, that have been in the same situation and have not given me a hard time. What should have been a straightforward process of Aretha signing her Miranda Wright statement has turned into a contentious exchange between her and the office. Her lack of cooperation is a recurring pattern. Okay, can you stand up, man, and we do a fingerprint. Thank you. Come on, come on. You, you, we got a fingerprint you for in her house records. So what you're saying is, ma'am, can you please stand whether up? Whether I submit the breathalyzer or not, ma'am, can you stand I up, please? The fingerprints. Can yes. You, yes, regardless of the case, whoever so whoever gets I'm, arrested by us has to get fingerprint. So regardless what of I'm the case. asking, ma'am, can you stand up and get the fingerprints? Why ma am I being okay. arrested? Ma'am, can you just do the fingerprints for me? Thank you very I much. I will certainly comply with whatever you're asking me awesome. to do. Oh, perfect. I'm can you just do the fingerprints? I'm to asking you. You literally said you were part. So can you stand up? Can you stand up? Stand up. Stand up, ma'am. Ma'am, stand up. Stand up, ma'am. I'm asking with all due respect. Stand up, ma'am. What has, ma what stand up. evidence that supports that I'm not ma able stand up. to pass the breath of Can you stand up, ma'am? Can you stand up, ma'am? I'm, I'm asking you, can you stand up, ma'am? I'm not going to answer any more Lily. questions. Can you stand up, ma'am? Officer Lily, no, ma I will Can you stand up? with you. Can you stand up? With all due respect. Ma'am, I am asking please you. Please stand up. Trying to talk to Aretha now is like talking to a broken record. She sticks to her story stubbornly, making the cop's job incredibly challenging. The fact that he's putting up with her for this long is a miracle. I'm, I'm trying to wow. I'm sitting here doing it and you're just asking me to do it. Come on. Stop. Can someone else do it? I, I put it in here. No, Ma'am, go on and hold this out for me, please. I'm asking, I'm asking and I'm telling to you, do it. And I'm telling you to go back into the cell. Why? I'm telling you to go back into the cell. I understand what you're telling me, but why? It's done. Go. I, I went to the bathroom. I washed my hands. I'm willing to put cell. it in. Ma'am, we we'll ask you for simple instructions. Like I've been telling you time and time again. Can you go into the cell, please? But I'm willing to no, put it up there. We're, we're past that because you lost your chance. Can you go to the cell? What do you mean I lost my chance? Ma'am, go back to the cell. I don't understand. Ma'am, go to the cell. I care less. Okay. Go back in the cell. But, go back so in the cell. So you're to let me to fingerprint myself. Ma'am, ma'am, please go into the cell. But why are you punishing me? <laughs> ma'am, you're punishing yourself. I'm asking to put myself up here. Ma'am, please go to the cell. Okay, Can you so do it? Or, or are you wanting to continue then? Ma'am, I haven't done anything. anything. So, no, so no more questions. Even though Aretha agrees to do a fingerprint test, it's as good as a refusal because her uncooperative attitude is just wasting everyone's time. What do I need in order to retrieve my vehicle? Okay. So, the things that you need to retrieve your vehicle is a valid registration, a valid driver's license, and a valid insurance card. Where's my license and everything that was in here? The only thing that was given was this. That was given to you. Well, I didn't give it to you. I, I haven't had that New York license. My father died in 2020. I have not had that license. I keep it because that's the only thing that has it. My license is in New Jersey. It's in the AK pouch that was inside my bag. And if I had been asked for my documentation, I would have provided it for you. Okay, so when you went inside your vehicle? Yes. Okay. You came out of your vehicle. And when you came out of your vehicle, I asked you for your driver's license. And you said, well, I can't get my driver's license because it fell in the crevice by your seat. It and did then, at that time. And then I proceeded to ask you, well, can you go back there and get your, get your driver's license? And then you proceeded to tell me that you couldn't because you had the bracelets on. So I said, okay, not a problem. Do you mind if I go inside your vehicle to get your driver's license? Right. And you but, said, sure, no problem. Right. So then that's it was when in my bag because so I was not carrying this. This was inside of my large Louis Vuitton bag that was in the back seat of my car. Even as she asks for her vehicle back, Aretha's smug and superior attitude is evident. She quickly tries to turn the tables on the officers, but they're not buying into it. Once you do that, you receive your documents from your vehicle, you'll bring it back here, you'll show, me, you'll show one of the officers here a valid driver's license, a valid registration, and a valid insurance card. We will then sign the release form, you will just sign the release form, and then the release form will be given to you. You will then take the release form back to the tow yard where you went originally to go get your documents that you came here to show us, 
and then you will pay for however much it, they're going to charge you for the vehicle being in the tow yard, and then the vehicle will then be released back to you, and then you will have your vehicle. That is the process. Again, I will give you that information. You can't provide it to me now. I can write. I, I can't, but I have to go get that paperwork. The paperwork is upstairs. One argument leads to another. Aretha is determined to make things difficult for the officer. This interaction feels like it's been dragging on for hours, with no end in sight. I'm listening to you. Open the door so I can hear you. Perfect. So, all right. P.O. Davis, 412. P. Police P. officer. I understand. Beautiful. P.O. Louis, 405 is me. P.O. Discerny, 408. That is my other partner. Yeah. This is the report number, 2022-019. I can read, you, read the numbers, oh, just let me know what Now it is. you understand that, perfect, cool. What do you mean now I understand 20, that? I didn't it's just it. One Lakeside Ave, West Orange, that's their phone number. Thank okay? you so much. Are they 24 hours? They are not 24 hours. What are their hours? You have to call or start Googling. All right, this is your tow shoe. <laughs> this is your tow shoe, okay? This is not the tow sheet that releases the car, this is your own copy, so that when you go to the tow yard, you can let them know, hey, this is my vehicle, I would like to go inside it, um, get some things, but they won't release it. You still have to come back to this the police department to get it released, okay? What do I need in order to release it? Like my partner told you, you need the valid license. I don't have anything valid, to write with, so no, please I mean, don't the, say that to me. Okay. I don't have anything to valid write with, license, I don't anything else. valid registration. I can't hear you because you're talking over him. What'd you say? Valid license and valid registration. Okay? That's inside the vehicle. Yep. And you can go to the tow yard, show them this, ask them, can I get my stuff out of it? I know I cannot get the vehicle, but can I get my stuff out of it? It's up to them to decide what they decide and go from there, okay? She's given the address to the tow yard, the names of the officers, and her case number. And that wraps up the eventful night. She's allowed to leave, but is charged with driving while intoxicated, refusing to take a breath test, driving an unregistered motor vehicle, and failing to provide proof of insurance.